What's up, you guys? I am Cheapy Joe, and I am here with another writer's journey. Uh, the next one we're writing, I don't think had a name, or if it did, it wasn't mine. Uh, because the next story we're doing was actually an add-on for a character's backstory for a friend in high school, his book. And we wrote it, I want to say, either sophomore or junior year. I cannot remember exactly which. There was a big, uh, like a large, uh, there, there was a large, uh, what word is the one I want to use? Hiatus to writing, or I guess from writing, I should say. Um... between like seventh eighth grade when I was whenever I was still trying to write the blade story to when I was writing this one and this one came around just before I started planning what my next story will be uh my next writer's journey will be so this one is on I'm just gonna call it the Straventiro story um so the main uh, bit of the story was supposed to be in this post-apocalyptic world. And my job was to create a, uh, not really create a character, but like come up with a name and concept for this character that's like supposed to be like this, like the master survival, survivalist. And he was going to have these crazy abilities um, and I get to choose, I get to choose the abilities and all that stuff. So I came up with a guy named Stravin Tiro. Um, and his family line was like, basically the idea of the character was like, they're, they're the actual next step in human evolution. They have like crazy powers. Um, Stravin had like, um, I, I know he had shape shifting abilities and I want to say he had like a small amount of elemental abilities. Well, one day he gets captured by the terrorist group that basically triggers all of the bombs that cause a post-apocalyptic scenario, which is what the main book was about was this post-apocalyptic wasteland. My friend loved the Fallout series. So he really wanted to write a story based in a post-apocalyptic America, but like crazy anime-inspired post-apocalyptic America. Um, and so I went with that. Um, I definitely went with like a shonen feel with my character. Uh, so he was captured by this terrorist organization. And... He, uh, they were trying to like brainwash him into being one of them. I want to say the name of the terror was like either, either it was either the Screaming Eagles or Eagle Claw. I can't remember which one. Eagle Claw sounds better than Screaming Eagle. Screaming Eagles sounds like a college football team. <laughs> we're the Screaming Eagles. Ah! Um, uh, anyways. <laughs> Um, so he, uh, he escapes because they basically start injecting him with the mutagen that they were going to start. They, they put into these bombs to mutate everything along with the radiation. So his powers like increased tenfold and he like wrecked shit in this base to escape. He then gets back. He immediately takes his girlfriend and says, we need to go now. So he, they do, they find like a nearby shelter because the, the threats of the bombing was happening. He ended up killing like two of the terrorists that, like, that showed up. Um, the terrorists attack this base. Uh, and unfortunately, Stravin was trying to hold up the roof because they were starting to like bomb the roof 
while there's also a battle going on, and they end up... And they weren't bombing with the nuclear stuff yet. They were just, like, shooting rockets, throwing grenades, and things like that at the, the roof of the shelter. And he was trying his best to, like... Because it was underground. And he was trying his best to hold it. And then she gets taken away by the terrorist organization. And then his whole motivation in the main part of the story was going to be him trying to find his girlfriend. Um, I believe the, 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 the plan was, it was never written. The, my, my part was the, the pro, I guess the, you could say the prologue for the character was fully written. Um, it was written, written really briefly cause he said he wanted it to be like five to 10 pages. And I think I made it to like 10. It was like, it was like eight to 10 pages. And so I made this character and, um, the idea was that his girlfriend was executed like, ye like a year before. Cause like the main part of the story happens. I want to say like a year or two after the bombs fell. I could be wrong, but it was like a year before, um, And he, when he finds that out and like they paraded her body still like, like her decomposed body with the clothes still on it. They literally like stapled just in case he showed up and, uh, the terrorists basically swarm him. This was the idea. Cause I, w I wanted this character to die. Like if his girlfriend's dead, he has no reason to live. And so he basically Samson's this base, but instead of just tip, like pushing these pillars and knocking it down, he literally uses all of his energy and just collapses the building on in itself and basically crushes everyone. You know how like Magneto can like crush metal with his magnetism? He basically did that to this building. This building just collapsed in on itself. And the, re the the rest of the the characters would move on without him. He basically sacrificed himself to make sure um to to to, to avenge his his lover. Um so yeah. Would I ever write this story again? Most definitely. I totally would. Um I would probably wait to give him powers till after the radiation. Um, but I would totally write the story. I don't know if I would kill off his girlfriend. I, I usually tend to write not necessarily happier endings, but definitely more positive ones. Uh, but maybe I would, and maybe I would make his positive ending that he wiped out a terrorist organization. I get they weren't technically a terrorist organization once the new world, the new apocalyptic world hit. They basically became like kingpins, I think was the idea. But yeah, he was going to sacrifice himself in the end. So would I write this book? I think I would write it as a book, not as an audio drama, but maybe I would write an audio drama equivalent. But I think I would probably write it as a book first. And it would probably just be like 100 pages. It'd be a shorter story. Um, it, it'd be longer than 10 uh, to give you guys a better idea of what this world is like. But yeah, the beginning and end would be the, the beginning would be him getting captured. The end would be, um, him sacrificing himself. If I wrote that ending, I probably would. I think, I think that's a good ending for the character. Um, this went a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but there's a lot to this character that I wanted to give context to. And there's a lot of this to this character that I wanted to, um, uh, kind of give, cre like, like almost like, cause like this was like the first book that I finished. I mean, technically I finished the Final Fantasy VII fanfic, but that was for an assignment. This was for fun and for a friend who wanted me to help him create a character. And it really kind of got me started liking character writing a lot. Um, and character creating, cre character creation a lot. Um, I've always been good at it, 
but like this one made me fall in love with doing it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there. Um, it would you guys read a story like this, like this 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 borderline power fantasy <laughs> post apocalypse world of this dude searching the world for his girlfriend? Um, I would probably change it to his wife just because I'm older than, than you know. 16. I'd probably, like, want the guy to be older. Like, in his early 20s. Maybe I would make his girlfriend. I don't know. What do you, like, what do you guys think? Like, would you guys read a story like this? Alright. I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome day and a good night.